Bible said uh, Obamacare, you could keep your own doctor. List the things that Obama has said. Remember when he spoke in Cairo, and I'm not bashing Muslims themselves, but radical ones. The Muslims were in rapture when he first got up. They said he speaks better than an imam, the, the Arabic. And, yes. yeah. I mean, look. I, I have nothing to be afraid of. I'm telling you, just look at Obama's actions. And then when he says something, you better do like we used to do with Clinton. Remember that, Alex? We used to say whatever Clinton said, figure out what the exact opposite is, and you'll know what he's talking about. Well, now with Obama, know this. When he says whatever he says, it's not true. So he can tell me all day long that he's this great Christian. But in fact and indeed, his actions show me that we have a Muslim, fundamentalist Muslim in charge of our country right now, and he's leading from within our country for these riots, which literally take us to the ebb where we collapse. And well, then, let me tell you, the globalists may have been biting on more than they can chew because the military knows that they're being targeted. The police right. now know they're being targeted, and I told them this right. would come. Um uh, what a, I guess the elite just can't help it, though. They're, they're going for broke. They, they can't. They, Alex, they know what they're doing. And I, I tell you, it was November 2008 when this all ended for us. You see, when they did the big thing with the bailout, and millions of Americans called their congressmen and senators. I mean, millions shut down the phones. I mean, shut down the phones. It was like 90% unpopular in polls. Right. And then six weeks later... After all of those congressmen and senators voted for it, we elected them all right back in. That was the day it ended. That was the day when they knew in Washington they didn't have to worry about it. And us so anymore. they did Obamacare and all the other right. screw jobs. And, and folks, if you think this screw job we've been given is bad, they are really getting out the big jackhammers now. I mean, oh, you bet. I mean, they're, they're coming after us now, and they believe, Alex, there's nothing we can do, but that's where you are in trouble. That's where you're in trouble. That's where I'm in trouble. There are a handful of people, Alex, that are not afraid, or at least don't have enough sense to be afraid. We're, we're trying to tell the truth. And I know, guys, y'all don't have any idea out there listening to me. You have no idea what it feels like to tell the truth about something and then have every person in the government, every single person in the government say you're crazy. And then your friends, your family, everybody hears that you're some nutbag out here. Well, let me tell you, that's a hot seat to sit in, not to mention going to bed at night and wondering. If I hear a noise outside, will I hear it in time to stop somebody coming in to pop me? And see, with all the racial problems, with all the people being killed now, right, Alex, with all this quote-unquote violence and this stuff going on. That gives it cover. It gives it cover. Anything happens to me or you, they say, hey, they got, you know, they got caught up in all this racial trouble. Stay there. We're going to come back and take calls. Larry Nichols, fourth hour, too. We're going to do five minutes of overdrive with yours truly, Alex Jones, Larry Nichols. Then we're doing the whole fourth hour with Rob Dew and others on this subject and a bunch of other subjects, special reports, a power pack fourth hour. Some stations carry it. We're bringing it back every day live starting now. If your station doesn't carry it, call them or respectfully ask them to pick up the fourth hour if they can. And please support our affiliates by spreading the word and supporting their sponsors. I was just about to go to Peter in Washington. He'd been holding for an hour. I apologize. He just hung up. So we're going to go to uh, Joshua and Doug and Mike and Michael and a few others in this little segment the next. But I'd forgotten that back on what, June 23rd, I think was the date. We'll put it on screen. Um, it was reported on in August that Louis Farrakhan came out and talked about going out and stalking and killing people. Stalk them and kill them, Farrakhan says, calling 10,000 volunteers to kill whites. And then you notice the new Black Panther Party said yesterday, we're going to stalk you in the dark and kill you. And I don't get how cops can follow orders to fire tear gas at peaceful reporters and act like they hate us. And then people walk around saying, I'm going to kill you. I mean, if somebody was walking around in front of me saying, I'm going to kill you, I'd go, I mean, it's just crazy. And it's exactly what uh, Larry Nichols was just saying. This is authorized. So I don't know what's going on with uh, Louis Farrakhan. I, I mean, some of what he says I like, some of it I don't. But I mean, this is reckless and dangerous. I mean, this is 
Charlie Manson stuff, telling his group, go out and kill people. Plus, black people are 12% of the population, 13. Most of them aren't horrible murdering killers. Let's say 2% of black males, or 2% you know, of the black population, half of which is male, let's say a third of the, of the black males, is about 2-3%, go out and start a shooting war, they're going to be destroyed. But I guess that's what the globalists want. They already aborted half the blacks. Man, this is mind control, folks. This is evil. And either Farrakhan's gone crazy or he's working for the New World Order. Because, uh, you know, this is just crazy. Let's go to this clip. I'm not even play it again. I got to go to phone calls, but I, 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 I've not forgotten about that. I've not forgotten about that. It's just, this is, these people are going out and killing cops and other people and beating up white people in neighborhoods for no reason because Louis Farrakhan said this. And Louis Farrakhan is putting the same stuff out as the White House and George Soros. And Farrakhan looks completely crazy there. Like he's, Farrakhan, when I talked about 1776, they take the guns, he loved it. So I think Farrakhan actually wants to have a, a big war. And uh, when I said 1776, I meant if you come for the guns, like Lexington and Concord is going to start, not go out and stalk people and kill them. Uh, what do you make of this, Larry Nichols? And then we're going to these callers. Well, number one, they are. I mean, this is not accidental, Alex. If it were accidental, if they didn't want it, don't you know they can make one phone call, have the federal government go arrest him, shut him down, and nobody would make these kind of comments ever well, again? Well, folks would say that his followers, the millions, would, would riot, but that's not true. The globalists know how to no. kill him with a microwave gun across the street. They'll cook him in his bedroom if they want. If they wanted him shut up, I assure you, not much on this earth, I know, but he would be shut up. So if somebody is not being shut up, then you and I can only, only realize that they want it out. And look, I know it doesn't sound right, and I know there are millions and millions of black way this kind of attitude, nor would they endorse or even want this kind of attitude, but you better wake up. Now, guys, I'm telling you, this thing's coming. It's coming. No, hold on, your mic's breaking up. Your Skype's breaking up. Larry Nichols. I got to get these calls. I tell you, you I, I started looking at this, and man, I told you I had a bad feeling six months ago, and now it's getting worse. I mean, now we know what it is. War with Russia, race wars, collapsing economies. Welcome to the New World Order. I'm going to have Rob doing the next segment of I haven't gotten all these calls. Continue with the calls throughout the entire hour. The fourth hour's back, and now it's a aftermath, breaking news analysis starting five days a week now. So that's five hours more of transmission per week in the globalist face. Joshua in Tennessee, thanks for holding. You're a trooper. You're on the air with Larry Nichols. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I'm here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I was just reading the Mercury, which is our local independent newspaper, uh, last week. And there was the first Black Lives Matter uh, meeting a couple of weeks ago at a performance arts little studio. There was about 100 people there, and in the paper it stated that they asked that even though over 50% of the people there, so I'm a little out of breath, I was riding my bike, uh, were white, or not black anyway, they asked them not to sign up for the mailing list, that they only want black individuals and the Black Lives Matter. Well, yeah, it's extremely racist. I mean, that's the fact. Uh, what was the name of the headline of that article? I want to pull that up. That's interesting. It was Black Lives Matter meeting in Knoxville. It was uh, it's called the Knoxville Mercury. I know they have... No, I know the paper... I, I know the paper yeah. says Black Lives Matter. What's the exact headline? Uh, I don't know. I, I, Black Lives Matter, Knoxville, I believe, is, is the exact headline. Right, Knoxville uh, Mercury. We'll, uh, we'll look it up, sir. Very interesting. Anything else? To go. Uh, that's about it, really, other than that. The vaccine situation. I have a friend of mine that was just telling me the other day her son just got vaccines, and now he can't walk right. Uh, oh. A friend of hers, the baby died uh, the, day, the very day that she, he got the vaccines a premature baby and they pumped him full of vaccines and he died that night so 
You know, it's, yep. uh, I, I try we've to had the nurses on. We've had the nurses on and when they go. This is going to kill the baby. And the hospital says, fire at will, Commander. But nobody's mad about that. How about baby's lives matter? No, no, it's all just absolutely. And, and, and then now her son gets it and he can't walk. And that's a fact. I mean, this this stuff goes on all over the place, and they just sit there going, safe and effective, safe and effective. God bless you. Appreciate your call. Makes me sick, folks. They're going after the new generation. They're targeting us all while we're at each other's throats. Larry Nichols is our guest. Doug in Minnesota, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Hey, Larry. How you doing? Uh, um, pretty freaked you out. You guys are, are amazing. I have 20 grandkids, and right now you guys are saving their lives along with all these other kids whose parents aren't smart enough to wake up they're so involved on their cell phones and everything that they don't realize what's going on and they're they're letting their families die basically um on this deal in chicago that fox lake is real high end i mean there are some mansions there and i'm thinking that's why they've got the lockdown is to prevent it from spreading out anywhere else in that area. So it's, you know, the whole thing is ridiculous. Well, if it ends up being racially motivated, I hope MSNBC and Louis Farrakhan are happy. You know, black people, I, I, I don't get it. I got black friends that say the same thing. They said, this is all a setup. Don't, Everybody don't I know that's people. black says the same thing. Everybody I know gets it. That's what I mean. I don't get, thank you for the call, great points. Larry, they just... That's the thing is it seems like the establishment doesn't even care if we know. They're just going ahead with it as a cover story. Yeah, you know, Alex, it's something that we did back when I was with Clinton. We cleverly called it, instead of brainwashing, we called it social engineering. And that's, what we're, that's what's happening to us, and it's really happening to our youth. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you, look at what they're doing with our words. They're fixing it to where half the stuff in our language we can't say. But, Alex, if you look at the words they exclude... They all connect to the takeover of our country. They're words that would, if, if we still have those words in our vocabulary, then our young know from where we came. And they're erasing where we came That's from. That's why they're buddy. getting rid of boy and girl, father and mother. This is a cult takeover. It is. And Alex, you know, I, I've got to say this about the video that you did. Sorry about the bulldog chipping in. Uh... Thank you for what you sent to me. That was a huge. I want people to know that I don't, I don't come on here. No, no. Thank you, Alex brother. We're going to talk to you again very, very soon. We'll interview you the day we premiere uh, this new documentary. But Larry Nichols, thank you so much. God bless you. Rob, who's coming up?